I'm Brian Bolter, owner and beverage director of Dry 85, named one of the top 75 bourbon bars in America, and Red Red Wine Bar, honored as the best wine and beverage program in the state of Maryland. Today, we are blind tasting Cabernet Sauvignon under $15. I taste an ocean of Cabernet Sauvignon under $15 on the regular. I'm cautiously optimistic. Cabernet Sauvignon, it's the most widely planted grape in the world, perhaps one of the most widely known varietals in the world. It's a good thing and a bad thing. A lot of people are growing it who shouldn't, a lot of times because they want to stretch their uh, amount of bottles that they can make, amount of cases that they can make, they stretch the yield. What you're looking for in Cabernet Sauvignon is well-balanced, great acidity, good fruit. Not bad, a lot of dark fruit. Give it a A lot of bright fruit, a lot of cherries, good tannins, grip on the front of the tongue for under 15 bucks. It's definitely a buy, I would buy this. Alamos Cabernet Sauvignon, Argentina. Nice. From the Catena uh, wine family, a popular under $15 Cabernet. I recommend it, it's a buy. Good job, Alamos. we got here. Another surpriser. A little thinner than I would like in a Cabernet. I would say if it's the only one on the shelf, buy. If you have choices, pass. James Mitchell, Lodi. This is probably a huge sourced wine. James, I don't know who James Mitchell is but he would be proud that his wine is under 15 bucks and decent. Don't get a ton of nuance, ton of layers, ton of flavor at this price point, unless you're lucky, which is what we're doing here today, hoping to get lucky. I mean, good, good enough. It's growing a little bit. Probably my favorite of the three. All right, definite buy. 2013, just at home, fantastic vintage in California. Perhaps one of the best vintages, even better than 2007, which um, I, I have heard that Robert Parker thinks the same after I made that, although that, that prediction, but obviously Robert Parker and I don't talk. I think he would like this though. Not nice news. I don't know. Mm. Mm -mm. No. Oh, sour. <laughs> sour on the finish. Woo. Woo. I cannot get the flavor out of my mouth fast enough from this one. I mean, I think if you like sour cherries on top of a bell pepper uh, wrapped in sandpaper, that's your one. Mm. That's, I'm afraid. Vin de Pays, it's uh, sort of a village wine sourced from France. It, I think Wild Pig is a pretty good name for it. It kind of tastes like what a wild pig can smell like. I think the lesson today, 2013 across the board from California, even under $15, uh, tremendous value, I believe, which you don't get a lot of tremendous value from California Cabernets. It's just a higher price point just the economics don't work for it. But 2013 was fantastic. That's the lesson of today. And Hayes Ranch, pretty good. I'm Brian Bolter, and this is Bottle